After more than five years, a retired local newspaper editor is closing a chapter on her pursuit to preserve history. December 7th, 2021 will mark 80 years since the attack on Pearl Harbor, killing 1,177 service members on board the USS Arizona alone. News for Two Sons, Priscilla Casper joins us live at the USS Arizona Mall Memorial on the U of A campus with her mission to make the stories live on. Priscilla. Well, Sean, Amanda, it is truly remarkable. It gave me chills hearing some of these stories of the men that risked their life for our country. And soon you and everyone will be able to read the stories of the men on the USS Arizona that died. Dear Dougie, I hear you're doing pretty well. Sherry Clayton Spomer never met her grandfather's cousin, Bob Clayton, who was on the USS Arizona. She cherishes a packet of letters he wrote home, one letter in particular written on November 30th, 1941. It doesn't look like we will ever get back to Long Beach. We hear so much news. It's pitiful, but no one knows for sure. I wish Japan would either fight or keep still. It's on account of them that we're out here. Her parents received it on December 8th. It brings chills even now to think about it, that they, they got it the day after the bombing. Nancy Mock got to know her mother's brother, sailor Walter Simon, through stories. My mother, however, idolized her big brother, and she talked about him a lot right in the center of the back. You, you, you really can't see him. This was his graduating class when he talked about getting together, being home for Christmas and all that sort of thing, um, which obviously he never did. I never met the man, but my mother dearly loved him. Walter Simon and Bob Clayton's names are on these medallions here at the USS Arizona Mall Memorial on the U of A campus. And one local woman spent more than five years to bring their stories to life. Bobby Joe Buell Carter is no stranger to writing. She worked 36 years at the Arizona Daily Star. The summer before the 75th anniversary of the attack, she was retiring as editor while her husband was creating the USS Arizona Mall Memorial and thought that people should be able to learn more about the men who died. I decided just, I'm gonna focus on the people stories, you know, their family background and their motivation for enlisting and their kind of life story. So the minute I found a few of those, I was hooked. She now sits in her home, surrounded by boxes, more boxes, and more boxes, filled with hundreds of letters, photos, family member interviews, and digitized newspapers. A mission that took her to 14 states and connected her with hundreds of families, librarians, and historians. The letters are, are still the thing that give me goosebumps to see what is an 18 year old away from home for the first time because it was an era when people didn't go far from home. It's a great adventure for a lot of them at first and then as time passes they start to realize the seriousness of their job. With the help of family members, Bobby Joe completed profiles of all the men that died. I hope people will still be able to read these stories a hundred years from now. They were people with with hopes and dreams and, and they weren't just names on a memorial. You are still my best sister and buddy. All my love, your brother Bill. Keep smiling. And that was written on November 20th, 1941. And Bobby Joe says before the 80th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack, she will be posting all 1,177 profiles completed on the USS Arizona Mall Memorial Facebook page for everyone to read. Reporting live at the U of A, Priscilla Casper, News for Tucson.